Hi there, it's Christy Butson from TinkerWithInc.com. I have a quick tutorial for you today on how to use your dry embossing folders to create a heat embossed look on your card. This is not a stamp. I don't know if you can see that shiny part there. Um, but this is not a stamp. This is actually made using the honeycomb embossing folder. So I'm going to show you real quickly how you can do that. The first thing you need is an empty clamshell stamp case. Um, you, you'll need a brayer and um, some ink refill. I'm using Daffodil Delight ink refill. So what I'm going to do is just put a couple of drops in the bottom and then to give it that metallic shine um, I'm going to use some of the frost white shimmer paint and we just need a drop or two of that not much and then using your brayer just move the ink and the shimmer paint around until they're well combined And now you're going to use the brayer on your embossing folder. Now you can use it on either side. Um, one side of your embossing folder will have the dents in it and the other side will have the raised portions. Um, to do, for the card that I I'm, I'm showed you, I'm going to use the raised side. But it's fun to play with both sides and see what kind of effects you get. So we're just going to lightly brayer over that. You don't want to press too hard or you'll get paint in the um, depressions too, which is not, you don't really want it there because that could show up on your card stock. Then we just grab a card. Um, I'm putting a whole card in because I'm just going for a very um, clean and simple look, but you can obviously add any shape or size you want. Um, carefully place your cardstock into your embossing folder on top of the paint, and we're just going to close it and apply even pressure. And then when you open it, you have basically stamped onto your cardstock. Now using the shimmer paint will give you um, a metallic look very similar to heat embossing. However, if you just want to use it as a stamp, you can use your stamp pad direct to the embossing folder and just um, ink it up that way and stamp with it. Here's an example we made at convention last year using the Chevron folder and Versamark ink for a more subtle look and we just applied the Versamark straight to the embossing folder and then stamped it onto the cardstock. Now you do want to be sure when you're done to take your brayer, your embossing folder and your clamshell case and wash them out. Um, I just run mine under water while it's still wet and all of the ink comes right off. So there you have it. I hope you have fun playing with this fun new embossing technique. 